this is Ensai and welcome to an Illustrator tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create um, smoothed edges on your shapes and also how to smooth out sharp edges. So let's get started by creating a new file. After that's created, for the purpose of this video I'm going to create a letter D as it's easier to show on that but this uh, works on pretty much everything. Okay, I'm just going to move this here and make it into a uh, shape like this. Okay, after you have your uh, whatever it is that you want to uh, smoothen out on uh, open and like, zoom in, you're going to want to create a new layer. Select the uh, rectangle tool, you're probably going to have this here, it's under the type tool. Uh, hold left click on it and choose the ellipse tool after that's done uh, I'm just going to change the color to red as it looks uh, better and it's uh, easy to see when working here okay I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see and also I can see okay so uh, make sure this uh, layer empty layer is selected and you have the uh, ellipse tool selected as well and you're going to choose the um, the edge of the uh, sharp uh, corner you want to smoothen out and just drag out by uh, drag out and hold shift so it is perfect uh, like perfectly round and drag out till the very bottom of this um, I guess this uh, what is it this box I guess or whatever it is that you're working on uh, so it is touching all the corners and you can move around if needed as you can see I did not do the perfect job here so I can resize it that's what I li like really uh, I really like about Illustrator you can resize and move around without losing quality on the uh, shape or the image but yeah um, after you have everything perfectly uh, then uh, you're going to um, create a new layer again make sure you're choosing uh, your <coughs> you're on the uh, empty layer that you just created and that's that it's chosen and then uh, yet again uh, let's click on the um, the rectangle tool and select the rectangle tool this time now you're going to want to create a box that is covering this area that you want to get rid of uh, and yeah like this it can be whatever color you want it doesn't matter okay now that's done uh, now that's done yeah you're going to choose the bottom layer uh, for me it's this D and then also click shift and click the box that you just created and now you're going to have to enable a uh, pathfinder like I have here uh, to do that uh, you have to go at the top click on window and select the pathfinder uh, and after you have that you should see this box up here or somewhere I drag mine here so it's easier to use uh, but yeah if you have that then you're going to click on the minus front which is the second from the shapes modes uh, shape mode sorry uh, and click it and it should delete the part here uh, as you can see I did not do the perfect job on the um, actual round so that's this can happen you can retry uh, doing the like at the round or you can just shape it up a bit so it fits and yeah after you have that done it's pretty much finished you just uh, change the color or to whatever you want and also if you want this to be one layer then select the circle uh, and also the main layer by using shift and then click on the shape modes the first one it's the unite and it will make it into one um, layer or it will combine combine into one and sorry if I stutter a lot or uh, whatever else it is that I'm doing I usually um, do this when I'm recording I have no idea why but yeah um, now how to uh, create smooth edges like if you want to uh, do a smooth edge here like it's a, a circle or something not really a circle but uh, like a circle has been deleted from this area 
We have the smooth, sm smooth round edge. Sorry, as you can see, it's uh, really kicking in the stuttering. Okay, um, so for that, you're going to uh, want to create a new layer. Select yet again the ellipse tool from the rectangle tool selection. Uh, create a circle and make sure it's touching the um, both edges like this. Should be perfect. Yep, I think so. <coughs> and uh, now you have to click on the bottom layer, uh, on the main layer, and shift click on the circle. And then you're going to click on the shape builder tool, uh, which is the under the width tool. After you have that selected, uh, you should see. Uh, when you uh, click around or like uh, move your mouse around you should see a lot of white dots uh, th that's the area that it's uh, selecting for you to um, I'm choosing like showing you you can uh, fill up so we are going to want to fill up this area here uh, between the circle and the letter T so we're going to click there and that's it it has filled up the area oh sorry I messed up there okay so now we just select the uh, circle and delete it and as you can see it's the perfect um, perfect edge I guess and yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial um, it's very easy very simple to do and yeah it's very useful as well especially for logo designers and every, anyone that wants to like smooth out edges and stuff uh, but yeah this has been Nensai, I hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed this tutorial, if you did and you have any other tutorials that you want to request, then please do so by leaving a comment below and also liking this video. Also I upload different kind of uh, content all the time, like tutorials, speed arts, etc. So please don't hesitate to subscribe as I really appreciate every subscription and all my fans and yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, guys, yeah, thanks for listening out to my stuttering, and I hope I help some of you, and bye.